Bazinga. 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 Funny thing is, I actually reused that clip from last season. Bazinga. Uh, the real Bazinga was the friends we made along the way. That's just hot nonsense. Anyway, welcome back with the season 8 premiere of The Big Bang Theory. We had a big season finale last time where Sheldon just ran away on a train because there were too many changes happening in his life. And we had the fallout from Leonard and Penny's engagement and Stuart's store burned down. I think more than anything, I really want to check in on Stuart, even if he seemed very happy taking care of Mrs. Wallowitz, aka Debbie, at the end of last season. Uh, but this episode is called The Locomotion Interruption. Sounds like Sheldon's train trip is going to be stopped short. Let's find out why. Full reactions on Patreon, leave a like, and let's get started. <laughs> 45 days later. Excuse me. Is it at all possible that you're knitting a pair of pants? <laughs> it would take her a while. Oh, no, you're under 45 days ago, um, I embarked on a railroad Too journey much of healing. backstory. Because I went... <sighs> Sir, may I use your phone? I don't think so. You would not. I understand that. <laughs> All my possessions were stolen. Now, typically I wear pajamas, but I recently- He has one sock. I know that I may appear deranged, but I am in fact a world-renowned physicist. A ask me the difference between a boson and a fermion. You go ahead, ask. Oh no. Bosons have integer spin. My legs are getting cold. Why won't anybody help me? Oh no. Poor Sheldon. 45 days. Haircut. Morning. Hi, want to do yoga with me? Uh, let me just have some coffee first and then I'll have the strength to tell you how much I won't be doing that. <laughs> it's good for you. Hey, buddy, good to hear your voice. Uh, I'm in Kingman, Arizona. He has pants. And uh, I need you to come pick me up. I'd love to. I'm just about to do yoga with Penny. <laughs> Uh, I'm wearing borrowed pants. I, uh, I don't have ID. Yeah, and one of the officers here will Jeez. stop calling me chicken legs. Uh, I'll, I'll come get you. What's the address? <laughs> hey, do you want me to bring you anything? Uh, yes, please. A pair of pants. Yeah, and my toothbrush. Yeah, and my mail. Yeah, well, and, you and, could and. Come back for chicken legs because I know you are, but what am I was met with stony silence. <laughs> you like driving to Arizona with me? No, I can't. I have that job interview. Oh, right. Oh. Besides, I don't need six hours of your hair is different. Why did you change your hair? I'm holding my breath until your hair grows back. That actually seems accurate. Can you think of a reason I shouldn't invite Amy to come with me? No. Come on, you didn't even try. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't want to, but you have to. What's wrong with your car? I'm having my windows untinted. Why? I've got a hot girlfriend now. I want the haters to know. Okay. Okay. About? No one's paying attention to you. How's that hater at this, bro? <laughs> I just want to pop in and make sure Ma's okay. Uh -huh. I thought Stuart was looking after her. He was, but now that her cast is off, he moved out. It was getting a little weird. Oh. How so? They're chummy. <laughs> like us? No, not like us. It's creepy chummy. Like you and your dog. <laughs> My mother is well past having any kind of sex life. Okay. Well past, you say. Although many older women lead vibrant. I said well past it! He doesn't want to think about it. Any leads on the person who stole my belongings? Not yet. Well, perhaps I can help. You know, Sherlock Holmes Not helping. Says, Not helping. When you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Now, have, have you tried doing that? That's not a thing you do. Nope. There's lots of books called Sherlock Holmes, and there's no books called Officer Hernandez. Wow. <laughs> oh, Sheldon's the worst sometimes. Thanks again for coming. And I'm not angry at all that my boyfriend was in trouble and called you instead of me. I love that. He was ashamed, yeah. embarrassed. Are you into Neil Diamond? You are built for pharmaceutical sales. You're cute, you're flirty, and huh. started that like there were going to be three things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cute and flirty. Experience in sales. Act like a salesperson. It's a lot like being a waitress. Except instead of pushing the fish tacos because they're about to go bad, you're just pushing our antidepressants before the FDA finds out they may cause rectal bleeding. Yikes. But also she was a horrible waiter. I just hope I'm not in over my head. You'll be fine. Just be yourself. I wish I felt more confident. Penny, I wouldn't Aww. have put you up for this job if I didn't think you could handle it. Thank you, but maybe I should cancel. It's too late to cancel. You're going. But I don't know anything about pharmaceuticals. You gotta try. You wanna do something you're already good at. I know. Why don't I get you a job at the sitting around all day wearing yoga pants factory? Oh, Bernadette. When she brings it, she brings it. They're comfortable. 
comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Look comfortable. Debbie and I got to talking over dinner the other night. I didn't have any place to go. She likes having me around, so we both said, why leave? Uh -huh. At the same time. <laughs> wow. Uh, this is precious. You finished each other's sandwiches. It's not that precious. <laughs> I'd like to back you up, but it sounds like it was pretty precious. <laughs> oh, Raj. Honesty hurts. Hey, I can't find my glasses. Be right there, Deb Deb. Deb Deb. You staying here seems like something she would have talk to me about, well, maybe if you called your mother more often, you'd know. Ooh, that is big what stepdad energy. <laughs> you know, Sherlock Holmes liked to use cocaine to sharpen his focus. You want to try cocaine? But I'm sure those Cool Ranch Doritos are doing the trick. <laughs> <gasps> Leonard! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. And are Amy? You okay? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, why did you come? I just drove six hours to help you out. Don't you have anything to say besides why did you come? I do, but I feel uncomfortable saying it out loud in front of these police officers. What's that? Shotgun. <laughs> oh my God, Sheldon. I thought that was really building up to something. <laughs> something else, not something like heartfelt. New York, Chicago, Atlanta, huh. Denver, Seattle. How are they? Oh, I have no idea. I never left the train station. Wow. Hang on, you... That's where all the cool trains are. Fair. I'm sorry, so you never went outside? Or had a single piece of fruit. How constipated are you? Well, I'm a people person. People like me. Some of my favorite people are people. Stop saying people. I feel like I'm saying people a lot. People, 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 people. Okay, I'm done. Oh, no. So... How do you feel your previous job experience has prepared you for a career like this? It hasn't. Uh, well, as a waitress, sales was a big part of my job. I mean, believe me, I convinced a lot of very large customers who should not be eating cheesecake to have more cheesecake. <laughs> One of those chubsters even had an insulin pump. <laughs> Jeez. I have an insulin pump. Uh, would you like some cheesecake? This could not have been going, this could not go it's worse. weird, right? A grown man in his 30s living with my mother? That is weird. I thought he was like 45. <laughs> Come on, you don't think it's a little odd? Who cares? They're both adults. Who cares? You wouldn't care if I slept with your mom? You know what? You're my best friend and she's in a bad marriage. I give you my blessing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roz. Stupid. Start yelling! And this is Stuart. <laughs> Just kidding! Okay, Roz is on his side now. This is the part where you talk. <laughs> All right, let's say a physician was prescribing one of our competitors' drugs. How would you convince them to switch to ours? Oh, no. Bernadette didn't prepare her at all, really. Could you do me a favor and not tell Bernadette how badly I blew this interview? She'll get upset, and honestly, I'm a, a little terrified of her. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just me! Well, look at that. We found common ground. Uh, Think she's so nice with a squeaky little voice. Squeaky little voice. I didn't even want to meet you, but uh, I, <laughs> I was too scared to say no to her. Oh my god. One, one time I had oh, <laughs> I had to tell her we were getting four uh, flashbacks funding for one of the drugs she was developing. What happened? I couldn't do it, she's still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Heinz ketchup. At the hot dog stand in the Salt Lake City train station, Heinz ketchup. At the hot dog stand in the Indianapolis train station. I don't care. <laughs> Have you not noticed that I've been sitting back here quietly stewing for the past two hours? Two hours while he went on about ketchup? I just thought you were bad. May I please have a moment of privacy to speak with my roommate? Huh? We're in a moving car. Yeah, what? Earplugs? What do you expect me to do? Stick my fingers in my ears? Yes, please. I was thinking put your head out the window like a dog, but that'll work. Secretly listen or no? As soon as we get home, I want to have coitus with Amy. She would have a very big reaction if she was listening. Oh, is... Okay, she can't hear. He was just testing. Damn it. I thought he was for real. I didn't want Amy to know I couldn't make it on my own. What's the big deal? <sighs> of course it's no big deal to you. You idolize me. And oh, my God. And you knock me off that pedestal you put me on. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, it's true. You you are a god to me. 
that dry delivery. Can I stop now? I called Leonard because I failed, and I didn't want you to think less of me. You were worried about that? Aww. Sheldon, it's okay with me that you're not perfect. Can I have one more moment with Leonard? Oh, okay. Sure. Now I want to have coitus with her. <laughs> Aww. Amy just hurt my feelings. I want to break up with her. Oh my god. <laughs> Sheldon. Penny got a job today. She did. Nice. Well, the only reason she got it is because the guy who interviewed her loves me. And she'll keep thinking that. Uh oh. What do you want? I, uh. Apologize. Kind of got the feeling you might not be nope. okay with me staying at your mom's. You're right. I'm not, oh. I think. How is that going to motivate him to get off his butt and get a job? I mean, do you even have a plan? Hey, his place burned fucking down. Okay. If I mow the lawn, can I have my allowance? Don't you take that sarcastic tone with him. I don't have to listen to you. Well, don't talk to her like that. That is my mother. Why? Wife. 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 When you're ready to apologize, you know where to find me. Yeah, in my house. That's right, sucker. <laughs> That's right, sucker. If you had told anyone that you were going away on a train by yourself across the country, do you know what they would have said? That I couldn't do it? Exactly. Right after they said, yeah. <laughs> now I feel renewed. I'm ready to deal with any changes that come my way. Sure. Hey! hey. Look who's back! Your hair is different. You changed your hair. I can't take this. I'm out. <laughs> she didn't call it. She called it. This is the train bathroom. This is the emodium I took, so I would never have to use the train bathroom. <laughs> you know, I almost died in a fire in Des Moines, but I stayed put. <laughs> FYI, what? that's when the emodium gave out. Oh, Sheldon. So I kind of didn't realize this at the end of the last season, but Penny is actually stepping away from acting and looking for other work. That's a very big turnaround from what feels like just a season or two ago, where she quit the Cheesecake Factory to do acting full time. It is probably for the best, though maybe she can still do acting on the side, though I'm not entirely sure how qualified she is for her new job. Her interview went so poorly she couldn't stop saying people, and she obviously didn't think she was right for the role, and the hiring guy didn't either, but she got the job anyway because they're both scared of Bernadette and both scared to say no to her. But hey, a lot of jobs are actually just people learning on the fly. Hopefully she has a talent for it, or she's a quick learner, because she's been a struggling waiter and a struggling actor for such a long time, I think it would just be nice to see her excel in some field. Bernadette, though, can be a little scary. I think we've seen several instances of it before. She's constantly joking slash not joking about mishandling things in pharmaceutical R&D, and she's super competitive, as we saw in the scavenger hut. It was so cruel to Leonard. And yeah, that sweet, squeaky, cute, high-pitched voice really throws people off the scent, but she's an absolute killer. Oh, one thing about Penny, uh, she got a haircut. Wonder if it was because the writers wanted a big change for her or if Kaylee wanted to change it. Either way, uh, if we're trying to find an in-universe explanation, is it just a coincidence that she got it cut right after she decided not to act anymore? Because is this a hairstyle she actually wanted for a while, but she kept it long for like possible roles? And yeah, there are short haircuts that I'm a big fan of, but this isn't one that I'm immediately gravitating towards. Actually, is it the Karen haircut? Like the, I like to talk to your manager haircut? Oh man, but yeah, I'm guessing it'll grow on me after a while. Uh, the whole thing with Howard and Stuart was kind of sad to watch. I feel like we've seen Stuart be timid and have no backbone in the past, so I assumed he was going to fold and apologize to Howard, but I'm glad that he didn't. And I understand Howard feeling uncomfortable about all of it, but this is good for both of them. And ugh, freaking Howard basically telling Stuart to get off his ass, like, you hired him, he's been taking care of your mother and he's been working for the last month and a half despite his comic book store burning down. And I don't know how long insurance takes to pay out, but even if they did already, there's a lot of work to be done if he wants to rebuild. And I actually don't remember, like, did Stuart also live in the comic book store? Jeez, poor guy. But uh, yeah, Howard was just being completely unreasonable in telling him to just pick himself up by his bootstraps essentially. 
So yeah, Howard isn't thinking rationally or empathetically at this moment, and I get that there's a fear of Stuart replacing him in some way, or possibly sleeping with his mother, but neither of those things are happening. I think it would really help if he could step outside of himself and focus more on how his mom is happy that she has companionship, and how this can help a friend who has really been through the ringer recently. Then again, calling Stuart a friend might be a stretch, because nobody ever remi remembers to invite him to stuff. I've mentioned a bunch of times that they try to negotiate down prices in his barely surviving and now burnt down comic book store. Plus, Howard was jealous of the time Raj and Stuart were spending together at one point as well, so are they even friends? I don't know. And then yeah, Sheldon is back after 45 days. He made it out there for quite a while, and I say out there, but he didn't actually ever leave the train stations he was in. Uh, but yeah, that somehow feels like a very Sheldon thing to do. Uh, trains bring him comfort, and that's what he needed in the moment, I guess. And yeah, I wonder how long he would have kept it up if he hadn't gotten robbed. They got his pants, like everything but his shirt, his underwear, and a single sock. And then, yeah, he just freaked out everybody at the train station. Good thing he was in Arizona and not even further away from Pasadena so that Leonard could actually drive and get to him. And yeah, the whole thing with the police officer was hilarious. Telling him to be more like Sherlock Holmes, that was never going to work. The whole thing with Amy was, I mean, I guess Amy thought it was sweet that he thinks enough of her, that he didn't want her to see him in this low moment. The whole ear covering thing was funny though. And at first I was shocked that he said he wanted to sleep with Amy and I was like, oh wait, obviously he's just testing to see if she can hear him. And then he eventually said that uh, he was ready to break up with her after she said something really sweet. It was something like, you don't have to be perfect for me to like you. Oh my god, Sheldon. <laughs> uh, and then as they're climbing the stairs back home, Amy builds uh, his trip up to be this grand adventure. And he feels like he can take on the world, he can withstand any change, till he sees Penny's hair and nopes the heck out of there. Um, but yeah, curious to see how he'll adapt in the coming episodes that his uh, coming back to his life. Will there be consequences for missing out on a month and a half of work? And he'll probably still have to work on string theory. And we'll see if those 45 days changed him in any real way. But yeah, thanks for watching. Full reactions on Patreon. We're four weeks ahead over there. Leave a like and I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.